What's up mga ka TV? Welcome to Ruzan TV. Now, uh, this time is another episode of Nagmamagaling sa Mat. Of course, what I would like to share to you this time is about a measure of dispersion. Who knows what's measure of dispersion? Well, if I may share to you quickly, measure of dispersion is all about uh, the spread of data in a given data set. So, I would like to, to encourage and invite everyone to share with me and let's solve together a certain example so that we will all gonna learn about measure of dispersion. Before ending guys, subscribe first to my channel. Click the bell button so that you will be notified all the time. So, you know I'm going to post more academic videos soon. So what are we waiting guys? Let's go! Let's have our example. Uh, we're talking about measure of dispersion. Specifically, we're talking about variance and standard deviation. So, here I have an example and we'll work with this example. Let's start with, uh, let me read to you first our example. It says here, it says here daily, the daily rates of a sample of 8 employees at GMS Incorporated are 550 pesos, 420 pesos, 560, 500, 700, 670, 860, and 480 pesos. Now, we talk about uh, measure of variability or dispersion or spread of data. Uh, data is being measured in terms of standard deviation. How many standard deviation a particular observation or scores or score away from the center or the focal, or which is referring to the mean. Now, to solve this one, let me start by sharing to you our formula. So the formula here is actually for vari variance is our standard deviation is S squared equals N times the quantity, the summation of X squared minus the summation of X squared divided by n times the quantity n minus 1. Okay, now based on the formula, this is how we measure the variance. Okay, and then the moment we square this one, and this is for the variance. And then for standard deviation, we just simply find our standard deviation is it is the square root of our Variance. Technically, how we solve for uh, the, uh, standard deviation, it is just the square root of our variance. So let's start. Let's start. First is first is we need to complete the table. You notice that there is more uh, in our expression here. There is actually values of uh, x. X is here refers to our given data set. Now we will do this one. Let's start with the table. First column is. Uh, equivalent for or it is for our uh, given or our example or samples you have 550 420 560 500 700 670 860 and then 480. Okay, to solve for this one, to actually to picture of this better, we can present or write the data in uh, ascending or descending order. It is uh, much of, uh, but it's also okay, we're not going to arrange it, but uh, I highly suggest that we will arrange the data from highest to lowest. So, we will have it here, X, the array data now is like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, So you have 420, 480, 550, or 500 rather, 550, 560, 670, 700, 860. Oh, oh. Arranging it in ascending or descending order will show us a uniform dispersion of the of each core away from uh, the center or the mean. 
So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have our 8 scores. Now, next thing that we will do, or the next column intended is we will get square of each. Okay? We will square each one. Let's start with um, the square of 420. 420 square. Okay? You have 176,400. And then 480 square. You have 230,400. 500 square, you have 25,000. Or 250,000. 550 square is 302. 500. 560 square is 100 or 300. 3 600 <clears throat> and then you have followed by 6 670 square that's 448,900 and then 700 square 490,000 and lastly 860 square is 730, 739,600 Okay, okay. Once we're done with these two more, uh, two columns, uh, the next thing that we are going to do is we will get the summation. We will get the summation of the first column, the summation of x, and then later on, the summation of x squared. Okay? Um, so, well, if you would like to also find out the tricks of how to get the summation of this data set without doing a long method using the tricks and calculator i'm going to show you also using the calculator so if you have done check my other video to know also how to um find or the trick of finding the, the summation without uh doing one by one adding into the calculator okay, so let's, let's start let's start adding your 420 plus 480 plus 500 560 670 700 860 Okay, our summation is 4740 And then you have Then of course the summation of the second column Which is x squared The summation of the squared um, Scores 176,400 Plus 130,400 Plus 250,000. Okay, line zero. Plus 302,500. Plus 313,600. Plus 448,900. Plus 490,000. Plus 739,600. Okay. Our summation or our total is 2,951 or 2,951,400. That's our summation. 2,951,400. Okay, once we have this, we just simply substitute it in our formula. Now, if going back with our formula, you notice there is n. Of course, to find the value of n, it is simply referring to the sample size, how many scores or observations we have. And to do that, our n here is, of course, it refers to 8 employees. So we have n equals 8. And then our summation of x equals 4740. Then the summation of x squared equals 2,957,000. Uh, 51 rather, 51,400. Okay, now substituting it in our formula, you have S squared equals N times the quantity of the summation of X, Xs, or X squared rather, minus uh, the square of the summation of X divided by N times N minus 1. Okay, so substituting we have n is 8 times our x squared, that is, it's here. x squared is 2,951,400. Okay, 
minus <coughs> sorry ako kung nila lock with lock square and then the summation of <coughs> x the summation of our x is 4,740 then we square that one divided by 8 times 8 minus 1 okay let's have our calculator okay 8 times 2,951,400 the answer is you have 23,661,211 200 minus okay the square of our x which is the square of the summation of x which is 4,740 squared we have 22,467,000 600 okay and after which our denominator that is 8 times 7 of course and then so our result is minus we subtract the numerator we will subtract this one the result is 23 611 200 that's 1,143,000 and 643,600 okay and then divide this by of course the product of 8 times 7 you have 56 okay approximately we divide now 1,143,600 divided by 56 we have 20,000 421.43 Okay, we approximate our result into two decimal places. Now, this is for our variance S squared. So, variance is equivalent to 20,421.43 Now, the next thing that we are going to have is to get the standard deviation. Okay, which is the square uh, by the way, this is essential or this is done because, or we do this one because you notice as we compute the variance here, we square the value. You notice we square the value here. Now, it's like technically we're going to remove the squared value. That's why we are going to uh, find the square root of our variance again. That is to remove the concept of the squared uh, value of each score. And thus, we call now that result as standard deviation. So, let me just continue. Where should I continue? Okay. We have S squared or SD rather equals the square root of S squared. Which is our X or the square root of our S is 20,000. 421.43 so we're getting the square root of that that is the square root of 20,421 or 421.43 approximately we have 142.9 uh, as we're out of the two decimal places 0.9 or 90 so this is our SD now to measure variability for ungrouped data this is the whole process so you notice uh, this is the woman this is the given formula and then we array the data to show this uh, situation here and then we arrive with this result there you go that is how we solve for um, dispersion or spread of data meaning to say um, on the average each score or each observation is away from uh, the center or the mean at around 142.9 um, pesos away from the center. So each score is one standard deviation away from the score. If a uh, given example or given observation is one standard deviation about the mean, then that is equivalent to 142.9 pesos. Okay, well, this is our example of uh, 
measure of dispersion. Actually, there is another way of doing this one. But I decided to show you this because for me personally, I find this a little bit easier compared to the other method. I think this is way shorter than the other. But of course, we will arrive with the same answer. If not, then at least it's just a matter of decimal place value. Okay, because the other computation is affected the moment we round the values for the mean. You know what, I, what, what I'm saying when we will encounter that method as well. So with that, that ends our discussion for this time about measure of variability for group data. Again, variability refers to the spread of data in a given data set. So thank you so much guys for uh, being with me and taking time to listen to my discussion. And please, if you have some suggestions and comment, leave it in the comment section. Thank you very much guys and be safe.